Hey, welcome to Ian's Super Fun Food Time. Today we are making General Sow's chicken, and I'm not talking about the frozen meal kind. I'm talking about the kind you get in the takeout box, the kind that you get in the nice restaurant. You'll be making this all the time, and my boyfriend's obsessed with this recipe. He absolutely loved it. First, let's find the biggest chicken breast you can find and cut all the nonsense off, and then cut it into little bite-sized pieces. These actually get a little fluffier when you cook them. You also want to get everything you need ready beforehand, so keep this in mind. Have six tablespoons of flour ready to go and one teaspoon of salt and a half teaspoon of black pepper and of course two eggs uh, speaking of which we're gonna start by cracking the two eggs into the bowl in goes the salt and pepper and whisk that until nicely mixed I'll use a fork now, if you're thinking about having sides with this dish, I recommend just putting some rice on the stove right now. It's a perfect time to do so. And we're gonna add that flour right into the mix there. Whoop, but don't mix it up yet. And then one teaspoon of baking powder, not baking soda, make sure you get it right. That goes into the batter. And then grab a bowl with one fourth cup of cornstarch and roll the chicken around in it. You probably wanna start with your left hand and then hand it to your right hand which I didn't do, but it should feel like a marshmallow afterwards. It's not a marshmallow, don't try and eat it. I promise it's not a marshmallow. Once all of your chicken pieces are coated, add a half cup of vegetable oil to the pan and get it nice and hot, but not too hot. You don't want to burn the oil. And then now it's time to mix up the batter. I always wait till last to do that because it thickens super fast. Make sure to get it completely lump-free, and you should be ready to dip. So the oil should be hot right now, so start grabbing your chicken, dipping it in that coating, and throwing it in the hot oil. I mean, don't throw it, just set it nicely, and let those puppies cook for a little bit. You want to fill up the entire pan with all those pieces of chicken, so uh, be strategic with how you lay them out. You don't want to touch them too much, because you'll have to break them apart with your spatula. You don't want them to fuse together, so give them just enough space to breathe. But, uh, I, you know, I try to get them all in there. Once they start looking golden brown on the bottom, kind of flip them over until they're, they're that beautiful golden color, and then you're ready to take them out. In the pan, add two tablespoons of grated ginger, or I use two tablespoons of uh, paste, and then four teaspoons of sesame oil, and then in go a half cup of chopped green onions, and they smell amazing. Let that ginger brown for about a minute, and then add a half cup of water, and then a fourth cup of distilled white vinegar. And believe it or not, there's actually a ton of sugar in this sauce. So we're going to add a half cup of white sugar into it. Don't judge. And next, in a separate container, mix two tablespoons of soy sauce and two tablespoons of cornstarch. And then you'll want to mix them up really well until they're all kind of blended together. And pour that into your dish. That's going to thicken up that sauce nicely. These next ingredients may surprise you, but it's in a lot of your favorite takeout sauces already. One fourth cup of oyster sauce, and I promise it will not make your sauce taste fishy. And the final ingredient is one fourth cup of good old fashioned ketchup. Yeah, ketchup's in there. Then I like to take that and mix it around, get it all good, make sure you scrape the bottom of it, and mix it all in there, get all that good stuff off, all that chicken, everything, get it all in there, give it a good stir and let that sauce thicken. And then it goes the chicken. And then kind of just mix that sauce around, let the chicken get coated in that sauce, and I kind of let it sit in there for about a minute while I toss it around. Just let it get absolutely coated in that sauce. You'll want as much sauce on that chicken as you possibly can. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Ugh, can't wait to eat it. And it's actually looking just about done now, so what I'm gonna do is turn down the heat, kinda give it a good little stir, and get a bed of rice and put it in a bowl. And you're just gonna smother it with chicken, just throw that chicken on there, get it all up in there, get off of there. And 
shove a fork in there because my friend you've earned it and deserve it and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel make sure you click the what hey Kaden okay I'm gonna have to make my own <sighs> well I hope you enjoyed Ian's super fun food time and uh, I'll see you next week with another yummy food treat Thank <laughs> you.